appreciate my likes and I appreciate you guys are probably like, ew. Welcome to my channel and for today's video I'll be sharing 10 interesting things about me with you guys so let's get straight to the video. First and foremost is I am a picky eater. I'm pretty sure we all have things that we don't like to eat and such but I am a really picky eater. It takes me a long time to actually try something and like it but yes I am a picky eater. I don't like cherry flavor like candy like Starburst, Jolly Rancher but I like eating the cherry itself. I hate banana flavor, like especially Laffy Taffy banana. I don't know, I just don't like it. And for my Hmong viewers out there, I don't like eating Hmong sausage. I know people are like, what? You don't like eating Hmong sausage? Yes, homegirl don't like eating Hmong sausage. I just don't like all the stuff that is in the sausage. So Hmong sausage is a no for me. I also don't like to eat fish. There are some things that I will eat, but in general, I don't like to eat fish. Homegirl can fish, but she will not eat fish. Next is I'm so afraid of heights. Like, I'm terrified of heights. Roller coaster? Homegirl cannot do it. I will have to put my big girl pants on to go on a roller coaster. And most of the time, I'm like literally closing my eyes, holding onto to my boyfriend or whoever is next to me for my dear life. Because it gives me butterflies, I'm scared, and it's just, I just can't do it. Like... The last time I've been on a roller coaster was like maybe a few years ago. So yeah. And roads that have the motion like a roller coaster, I cannot do it as well. Even though it's not like heights, it's just the feeling of giving me butterflies. I cannot do that. Like recently, my boyfriend and I drove on a road that was like this. I was freaking out. I had my emergency brakes on. I was like, eh, eh, eh. but it's not gonna do anything, right? Because I'm a passenger and I'm like freaking holding on my dear life and my boyfriend's nephew in the other car was like Amanda's probably like freaking out right now and guess what I was freaking out because I just can't do it I'm just terrified of like scary roads like that or heights like that yeah just can't do it all right sorry if the lighting is changing the sun is like setting down and it's like 6 30 p.m. and I'm trying to film this so yeah next is I got stitches twice so the first time i was like super young and i was like literally riding my bike down like the sidewalk with my little brother and i don't know what happened i literally got like cut on my heel on my foot and it was like super bad i was so terrified of like getting in trouble by my dad so i was in the basement trying to like clean up all the blood on my foot and i realized it won't stop bleeding I finally had the courage to talk to my dad and be like, hey, this happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was like the chain that did that or whatever, but I never knew like how I got cut on my heel on my foot. And then the second time is when I was carrying those like old TVs, like heavy boxy TV from our TV stand and putting it on the table. And when we put it down, the bottom was pretty like, it's not super sharp, but it was pretty sharp. Where if you slam it, yeah, it will like freaking slice your fingers because that's what happened to me. So that's why my finger here, I have like stitches on here. And I was like in high school when that happened. It was, I think I was in high school. Maybe it was in middle school. It was so bad. I was freaking out, crying. It was just painful. But those are the worst pain ever, having stitches. And I still remember like how my fingers were when I got the stitches. Just so bad. The next one is I have small feet and ears. So I never really talk about my ears, but like small feet, I have small, small feet. Like I'm a size two in kids and finding heels for me is really hard. So I did post a video of finding like the perfect heels if you have small feet. I'll go ahead and post a card above and also post the link down below, but I have small feet. So it's like hard to find like nice shoes, even though it's a little cheaper, it's still really hard. And then I have small ears, like I'll go ahead and show you, which I never really do because I don't know why, why would I want people looking at my ears? But I do have small ears, like my ears are so small that like my boyfriend's niece's ears are probably bigger than mine. Like I'm pretty sure like his niece's ears are bigger than mine, but 
Yeah, I have really small ears. Next one is I am older than my boyfriend. I am 23 and I turned 24 this August. My boyfriend is 22 and when I'm 24, he'll be 22. But he turns 23 in October, so a few months later. So yeah, I am older. Like, I don't know if people know that, but I do look a little younger for my age. When I was 21, the security guard was like, that girl's gotta go. Like, I'm like, here's my ID. Like, I am 21, it's my birthday. I'm trying to get lit. But yeah, I am older and people don't really think that like I'm my age just because I look so young and Trust me, I don't have like the best skincare routine. I'm still learning how to like, you know, take care of my skin. I just look really young for my age and I don't take an offense of it because I'm like, hey, when I'm 30, I can still be looking like I'm 20. So yeah. The next one is not like a story time, but I'll give you guys like a story time shortened into a little summary. When I was little, I had a comb and I'm like, why don't I just curl it? You know, because I was a little kid and I wanted to experience things. And I was in kindergarten. I remember I was in kindergarten. I decided to curl my hair with a comb and the comb got stuck in my hair. I was freaking out. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna get in trouble. And I was scared because my mom was sleeping, my dad was at work. And it was just me and my brother home with my mom, obviously. And I was like, she's gonna freaking kill me. But I tried cutting my hair with a knife, I think that's what I did. And I'm like, I didn't know what to do. So then like, cause I, I was just a kid, you know, like what is the kindergarten gonna do with, you know, a comb stuck in the hair. So I decided to tell my mom and I think I got my head shaved by my grandma the next day. And I still have a photo of it and I was so mad because I took a picture, like I had like, my parents took a picture of me with you know, like literally like little bit of hair, like I look like a boy and I'm just kind of like I'm scarred for life because like at that time I was so little and like my uncles and my aunts, they always loved to troll me so then it was embarrassing and I got made fun of by my family but Hey, it's okay. It's just a laugh now. But next one is I cannot swim to save my life. I never took swimming classes when I was in high school. It was required to take like freshman fayette, but I never took it because I was in a renaissance school. So I did like more like art stuff. And yeah, so my morning classes were like my high school classes. My afternoon classes was more like art, dance, and all that stuff because it was like a art school, I would say. But yeah, I do not know how to swim. I cannot swim to save my life. My friends, they try teaching me, but I can literally go from here to right here. Can't go that far. If you threw me in the water and tell me to swim from here to there, I will probably not make it. Next one is, I'm terrified of highways. I would not drive the highway if I do not need to. Sometimes I would take the long road just to get somewhere, but like I, I think that like my confidence with like going the highway has improved. But I'm still really terrified of driving the highway because like, you know highways where it's like one way and then the other way is like that? I cannot do highways like that because I'm like, what if like a drunk person or like, I don't know, whoever is not paying attention just literally drives and hit me. I'm gonna be dead. Like, I don't know. I'm just freaking out because I have, I put so many scenarios in my head, which I have a bad habit because it's like, I do that with my boyfriend all the time. So he was like, Stop with the what ifs. But anyways, yeah, I'm so terrified of just going high speed. So this one time I was driving to school and I literally just got on the highway and I was like trying to move into the middle lane, right? Just because in like the time that I go to school is super busy and like I hate it because I'm like, I just hate traffic. But anyways, I was trying to get into the middle lane. I looked, I tried to switch, but a car was also on the the farthest lane trying to switch into the middle lane as well. So we're both kind of like trying to go in the middle. And I saw it as I was moving in and then like I literally jerked and did a 360 on the freaking highway. I don't think my parents know about this. Not a lot of people know about this. And like I remember everything was like dusty around me. But like there was no accident because everybody stopped. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm so scared. I am so terrified when I talk about it because it's so crazy, but literally gained control of the wheel and 
kept driving. And yeah, like it was just so crazy. That's why I'm so scared of the highway because sometimes you like know what you're doing but other people are not like, you know, like paying attention to what they're doing. So that's why I hate driving on the highway. It's just scary to drive on the highway. Like, I don't know, but yes, that's why I prefer not to drive on the highway just because I don't want stuff like that to happen. Alright, next is I never shave my legs. I don't shave my legs and I'm pretty sure you guys are probably like, Ew, like you don't shave your legs or something. Like I swear to God, I told my boyfriend that too when we were hanging out. Like not the first time obviously, but like probably like, I don't know, three, four times. I told him like, yeah, I don't shave my legs. And he was probably like, huh? But I don't shave my legs because I don't have leg hair. Like I have very light leg hair, not a lot of leg hair. So I'm just gonna like, yeah, I just don't shave my leg hair. I shave like all the necessary parts, but I just don't shave my leg hair because there's really nothing to shave. It's just really like, literally like my arms don't even have any hair. Like, you see that? You can barely see, like it's very tiny. And that's it. So like my arm hair, leg hair is probably like super light. That's why I don't shave them at all. Like I have no need to. Next one is I had a 200 plus fine when I was in high school. So a little story time again. Sorry. But yeah, I was driving with my ex and I only had my permit at that time. And I was on a yield sign. I think it's a yield sign. But it could be a stop sign. But I'm pretty sure it was a yield. I think it's a yield. And the, um, what is it called? I don't know, like the thing that connects the windshield to like the side windows here. That part right there, that it blocked my view of seeing the cop car. Obviously it has to be a cop that's like I pulled over. And I went and he was like, I could have ran into you, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, obviously, I didn't have my license. I don't have my permit at that time. So then he was, like, saying, blah, blah, blah. You have to, like, get someone to, you know, come and, like, you know, pick your car up. And we were, like, on the side, would you say? Like, we are like, only a block away from my ex's house. And then, like, yeah, we got all, all that settled. And then it was, like, 200, I think, like, 60-something dollars for the fine. And, like, I paid off that day. Because the guy was like, you can do like monthly like payments. I'm like, yeah, no, who do you think I am? Like, I'm not that broke, okay? Like, you know, because they just can assume that you're not like, you know, stable and stuff like that. I wasn't like super stable, but like I had money to pay it off. So that same day, I went ahead and paid it off at the police station. So yeah, that was my first ever getting a fine and... Ever since then, I only got like a few fines. If you guys want to know more about the other fines that I got, let me know. I'll go ahead and do a story time. Alright, so anyways, that is it for today's video. Those are the interesting facts about me. I hope you guys enjoy them. I know like you guys are probably thinking like, who is this girl? Like she is freaking crazy. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoy and if you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Turn on that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. And don't forget to follow my Instagram page for more content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!